Germany entrance start the competition? I mean, this is like the FA Cup of Crown Green Bowling, effectively, isn't it? So, how many entrants do you start the, the, with? the tournament now is limited to 512 entries. I think Jimmy filled it this year. And a few years ago, it was uh, as many as 2,000. And um, sadly, the, the popularity has, has gone down a little bit of the competition. Although now it is £15 to enter the tournament, which some of the perhaps the, the social, the club bowlers who previously would have entered perhaps put them off. But Jimmy does now run the Waterloo Plate, which is £8 entry for people who, who perhaps um, prefer to have a double in that. Effectively, West is second tier. Yeah, the second tier is West, he calls it, after all. Now we're back right up to the edge of the green now in these corners. Yeah, got the block. Well, I, was fearing a, I was fearing a long, long journey coming in from Dudley today. Uh, motorways were fairly clear. It's such an easy place to get to once you, once you get close. Yeah, yeah we had a, a good journey up as well. Might be a bit busier later on tonight. Newcastle United are in town playing Blackpool. So, so, so there could be a few drunken Georges about. I don't know what they know about Crown Green Bowls in that part of the country, but I don't think we've got many of them here. Callum is coming up now, has played a real good ball. He just stops Stick. on the edge of the green. Oh, there it is, just six inches from the gutter. It's gone a yard through, but it's there, it's got to be beat. Don't breathe in. Good job there's no wind in Blackpool today to be uh, in the gutter. And Gary's going here. Winner, in, winner come, in comes the winner. Yeah, good call. Good call. We're very pleased with that. And Callum's already on the way. Running into it. Right, sir. Don't reach it. It ain't reaching. Struggling to make the trip. It's reaching. It's reaching. Won it. What a good call. What do you now for? Reaching. It ain't reaching. Struggling to make the trip. It's reaching. Won it. What a good ball. What do you now for? You've obviously never been on the green before. I think you best stick to your keyboard, Paul. Yeah. Now then, Callum's deciding what he's going to do here. He's going to uh, try and get along the edge of the green. Just put it down now to a 25-yard round pick. The game he favours as do many of the successful Shropshire Crossfield Cup winning team. He's gone through a couple of feet. And of course Gary Ellis doesn't mind this sort of length himself. He's had a lot of success on over the years. And he looks a little bit big here. And they just stopped him. Callum's uh, slapping his hands together here. I think he thinks he's too big. So he's gone out the back. He's really disappointed with that one. Gary asks who's in. But I think the crowd had told Gary before the ref could even get there. Yeah, he's coming in here for a chance or two. Yeah, it's two all the way. Two more to Alice. 10-3 leads in the quarter-final award for the handicap. A little bit of cloud in there, it's been a lovely sunny day here in Blackpool. Ideal bowling conditions, no wind. And he's heading off towards the other corner now with Gary. Famous Gary Shuffle. Yeah. It's about 10 yards short of the corner of this, he's cut the lens down a little bit. He's got a reasonable ball going, he might just go out the back, and he's just gone a yard through. Quite beatable. Callum, a very quick play, the ball's already on its way. Should be nice, should be nice to me, 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 just have won it. No score from here. Yeah, close one. <laughs> that co-presenter Lynn will uh, have a better view of that. She's in the stand. Yeah, stand yeah she's down there. 
she's still smarting from losing in the Waterloo semi-final the ladies Sunday but she lost to uh, Melissa Herbert who's uh, on the day was um, superb and easily the best player won and Gary have a look at these he left his second ball short Callum's asked he was in Gary's doing a bit of dancing around having a look at her hang on a minute he says you can probably hear Gary from here he just picked his own back the first lead ball has been the nearest yeah then what's Callum saying here Chasing after it, but if it gets past, it gets past. I think he should just win. Yeah, he just, just touched the jack. Good ball. Don't know whether it's made a double or not, but still, no less a good ball. One he needed really. He was lying to be possibly 11 or 12 three down. Jimmy Darby, his club mates already uh, into the semi-final and uh, he'll be facing these so he could be a, a way to look in an old tong semi-final. I didn't see the first semi-final, uh, first quarter final but uh, GI looked awesome. Well the first quarter final was Lee Eaton uh, against uh, the Welshman John Bailey, both two former winners of course and um, Lee was actually 19-16 uh, down and run out against John. Uh, and you know, he is a, a Waterloo specialist league. Oh, well. And he proved it in that first game. The second game was uh, with Graham Wilson and Andrew Cairns and Graham won 21-12. Uh, He's really the form man this year. Last night he won the Martin Institute, hoping to beat Simon Cope in the final. Uh, I think that's his 11th title of the year. And, um, he played really well today, he never really give Andrew Kerr the chance. Now we've got here, Gary's led off again, he must be going a good 60 yards, he's played on really two feet on the side. Callum's already sent his, turned his back on his first ball. As you say, pause, look at the old is going to go through. Now his second ball is now on his way. <laughs> In this sort of surroundings, the concentration level must be, you must have to really, really It is. Happy. It's important to concentrate because all the time as well, as you can see Paul, there are people moving around. Gary's just played a Super Bowl there, just six inch on the side. You have to concentrate because there's always people moving around, the distraction. Like the first game in particular, Lee Eaton and John Bailey on, it's not a good time to play. Callum is trying here. He's won the jack, out of the ball. Fist in the air from Callum. He needed that. He was lying 14-4 down there, back in 5-12. But as we were saying, the first game today is now starting at 10 o'clock. People are walking into the ground and walking around and finding the place on the tele on the terraces and putting the bets on with the bookies. You can see all the bookies are all all in usual place here. Plenty of plenty of money changing hands. There's Cliff Hope, one of the, the most famous. Uh, people around here, he's been a bookie for many years, he's into retirement now but still taking the guys interest. And of course there, uh, Billy Forber, counting his money. <laughs> <laughs>